Welcome to another episode of Gear Demos at the Drum Shop in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I'm Roger, and this is a Gretsch Broadcaster. Let's check it out. It's better. Yeah. It's cleaner, a little bit better paced, yeah. not as rushed. I have to admit, I feel as though we are by proxy becoming a Gretsch dealer. I'm not saying we are, I'm just saying we officially have four Gretsch kits in house. Yeah, we've got a legitimate 125th anniversary. We have a USA custom in the window. We've got a Gretsch pure wood renown over there. And now we've got a Gretsch broadcaster. This is the legendary Gretsch broadcaster kit that has now been re introduced over the past couple years. Uh, it does follow the same 1920s to 1950s construction that it's poplar core sandwiched with maple, just a very thin shell with just this beautiful warmth and really nice big tone, especially for such small drums. What's nice about it, it does use their rolled over bearing edges. So you get that really good contact from Remo heads. I qualify that with Remo heads because I still have odds with rolled over bearing edges and other technology, but I'll save that for a different video. Gretsch broadcasters are made in the Ridgeland, South Carolina, USA factory. So that's kind of cool too. They have improved the manufacturing techniques, but from what I understand, they're still using a lot of the old ways and a lot of the old machinery that really helped make Gretsch drums what they are. Uh, yes, these are silver sealed inside. So of course it's, helping that great Gretsch sound. And I'm super impressed with these drums. One of the other cool things is that they're using their 302 hoops. So some would call them stick choppers, some would call them double flanged, some would call them single flanged. You know what? They're really cool hoops. They give your drum a little bit more stiffness, but allow for a little bit more open tone. That's what I like about them and they're just not the same thing that everybody else uses. So it's kind of cool. This particular kit is finished in their walnut stain or walnut satin finish. And what I really like is a nice finishing touch on this. It does have a marine pearl inlay in the bass drum hoops, giving it kind of a sexy feel. Anyway, Let's talk about the sizes. It's a 22 by 14, it is a 12 by eight, and it is a 16 by 16. We do have the suspension mount for this one as well, but it's off because we decided to put it on this fantastic DW6000 flat-based snare stand for display purposes. Enough of me talking though. Let's take a listen to this kit. Right? Just sounds incredible. Well, we're gonna relate that to that great Gretsch sound. I'm gonna say it's paying attention to all the small details, the thinner shells. I'm also gonna equate it to the poplar core, which gives the drums a little bit more top end, a little bit more attack, a little bit more bite, but then keeping th the shells thin and sandwiching them in maple really brings out that rounder, more bottom heavy note. I like these drums. I think they're really, really pretty and they just sound incredible. And not to dive off in a different direction for a brief moment, but I'm going to. What the hell is wrong with the weather? Are you experiencing bad weather where you are? Because our weather in Oklahoma is all over the map and I don't know what to make of it. Anyway, I, sorry, I just had to get that out of my system because I'm looking at gray skies and I just want some sunshine. 
a little bit and some warmth. Or let's have a complete and utter blizzard and let's just freeze the place out for a week. Okay. I've not had enough coffee, but my vent's over. We're excited to have this kid on our floor. So there's more information down below in the link. Thanks for enjoying another gear demo here at the drum shop in Tulsa, Oklahoma. We're glad you hung out and I'm going to go get more Cafe Bustello. See ya.